outlook by the numbers a week out. And the polls suggest Trump is on a path to get just what he needs from New York, right, John? Just what he needs, Anderson, which is most or all of the 95 delegates. Let's pop out New York State and I'll show you these polling numbers. And wow, three polls out within the last 24 hours. Trump at 60 in one, 55 in another, 54 in the third one. And look at the big lead. John Kasich running second in all three, but that's a very distant second, 30, 40 points back. Ted Cruz in third place. I won't even break down the demographics, whether you look at this by age, by gender, by income, uh, by you know, ideology. Trump wins by more than 30 points in every demographic group we usually break down for you. What does that mean, Anderson? It means weeks a long time in politics, but it looks like he's on a path to win big. What he needs is most or all of the 95 delegates out of New York. These poll numbers tell you he has a chance to get most or all. Some of the delegates, you know, a lot of them are awarded by congressional districts, so it's a chance he loses some. But if he's around 55 percent a week from now, he's going to get 75 or more, maybe all, 95. New York also let's, uh, shapes up pretty well for uh, Hillary Clinton. So let's take a look at those numbers. It does. Let's switch over, have the Democratic candidates up on the map and look at these numbers again. Uh, they're not as great as Trump's numbers, but again, three polls in the last 24 hours, 50, 53, and 55. In each case, a 13, 14 point lead over Bernie Sanders. Hillary Clinton has to like this in her adopted home state because Sanders needs a win in New York because of the big basket of delegates. And Anderson, let me just take a quick look here. We did look closely at the attributes here because it's a bit of a closer race. Bernie Sanders does score better among younger voters, among voters who describe themselves as very liberal, but among African Americans, older voters in the suburbs and upstate, Hillary Clinton has clear advantages. It gives you a sense. Again, a week is a long time, but right now she is on a path to get a win in her adopted home state by a decent margin with exactly what she needs to keep her big delegate lead over Bernie Sanders. And that advantage among African Americans is important not only here in New York. Right, and let's, so let's take a closer look at that. If you look at those numbers and break them down, this is pretty consistent with what we've seen. Numbers are a little bit higher maybe in her adopted home state. But look at this. She holds her own among white voters in New York. This is from the Quinnipiac poll, 50 to 45. But among African Americans, look at that. That's almost a 40-point split. 65% of African Americans in New York State say they're going to vote for Hillary Clinton. Why does that matter? Well, it will help her a lot next Tuesday if she holds it. But remember, then the calendar goes down. Pennsylvania, the Philadelphia suburbs, into Maryland, in Baltimore, and the D.C. suburbs, in Delaware, the African-American base of the Democratic Party. So if she can continue those huge numbers among African-Americans next week and then for the rest of the month, Anderson, she's going to run away in the delegate count, which is just what she hopes to do with a very impressive April. All right, John, thanks very much.